this particular press was from 1937. The operators used to be able to get up to something like 2,000 prints an hour on one of these. I mean, we've had it running at about 600 prints an hour, and it's quite frightening. As long as you keep it oiled, bearing in mind that this is the best part of 100 years old already, it will print and work beautifully just forever. I mean, we fell in love with it because it's a kind of a romantic thing. You look at it and you go, oh, it's so amazing, it looks beautiful, all of the machinery looks great. Sometimes you come in and the light's in the right place and it feels like a bit of a sanctuary and an escape from the real world. With letter pressure, you pick up the letters, you move them around, you have a real physical connection with the whole process. You know, you don't get this on a Mac. If I'm typing away, every E is exactly the same. It's a piece of code, whereas every E in this typeface is different. Each character within the typeface has kind of got its own story, its own life, its own marks that have been impressed upon it. We know where most of the presses came from. We know when they were built, what year they were from. So all of these things have their own lives, really. So they've all been used somewhere else. They've all printed other things. They've all been used for other messages and other purposes. It's always a bit of a surprise. You never quite get what you expected because that's just the way that letterpress is. It's kind of got its own charm and you don't know what's going to happen. What I constantly find amazing and frustrating is that it's all a really natural process. The paper is a natural material, the wood type's a natural material, the ink, it reacts with the temperature. So on a sunny day, it's a lot runnier. On a cold day like this, it's a lot thicker, it's a lot tackier. Some sort of magic happens and some days it just won't work and other days it'll work immaculately. The people that use this originally, the people that train to do this, are of an age where we start to lose them. So that first-hand knowledge is being lost. And I think it's such an important part of our history as designers that we need to keep it going. It's the process, it's the slowness. I mean, you can lose yourself for hours putting these things together. It's kind of therapeutic, I guess. You get into a rhythm and you're just back and forth for a couple of hours, sort of passing pieces of paper to each other. Then you just go, what am I doing with my life? <laughs> well, I've just spent four hours making that. I think that's why we don't like working to deadlines in here, because as soon as you put a deadline on it, the time it takes becomes quite stressful. If we're doing stuff for ourselves to no deadline, then the time is a wonderful thing. You can just enjoy having all the time in the world to do what you want and make it look perfect or as perfect as you can.